guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Trash Talk 2.0 video. So, if you're unfamiliar, my Trash Talk series is going through my trash. Now, the bin does not look super, super full, but I actually separated my candles and my Scentsy out of the basket, so that way I can start with those and talk about those separately. But, essentially, my Trash Talk series here on YouTube are what I used up. So, obviously, I share a lot of hauls, I talk a lot about what I'm using, and what I like, but to sit down, really talk about performance, talk about did it work in my house, did it not work in my house, all the fun things that you as consumers really are curious about, these are your videos. Now, with that being said, the reason why it's called 2.0 is because I moved I moved into a bigger place, but I also moved into a regular apartment instead of a studio apartment. So I'm able to have closed rooms, etc., to really figure out what works and what doesn't in my home. Well, everything's performing so much better. There's still some duds, just like there are everywhere, but I finished so much stuff. So without this video being an hour long, let's get into it. As always, let's go ahead and start with the candles. I finished two single wicks from Bath & Body Works. The first one I finished is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Classic, a staple. I love this. I might even freeze this, pop this little bit out, <clears throat> and throw it in a warmer because there's still so much scent left, but the uh, flame did extinguish. But this was so nice. I actually, I know it's not the most I, ideal, spot to burn, but I did burn this in the bathroom, and my bathroom for 45 hours smelled like the best pumpkin pecan waffles you can ask for. And love this, love the performance. Pumpkin pecan waffles is just such a classic candle, can never go wrong with that. Now, this one, Coconut Colada. This was from the last year, totally not my wheelhouse of scent, but for some reason, this really stood out to me. So it's like a traditional pina colada, but amped up on the coconut. And I'm not normally the biggest coconut fan, but this coconut colada was really, really nice on cold. I didn't get any performance from it on warm at all. I burned this all the way, never could smell it in my bathroom, which was really sad. And it was only a year old, so definitely should have still had performance, but would not repurchase it, but really did enjoy the scent. If you like a very coconutty scent. This was yummy. From my friends over at 1820 House, I finished Donut Shop. Burned super clean. These are candles handmade in Ohio. Love, love her candles. I love the aesthetic. The vegetable wax just burns so clean and so nice. I, I love her candles. I love the performance on them. And it's so aesthetic. I have like a stack of books in my living room and I burn this candle on it. It just looks so good. And as far as the scent goes, donut shops like that cinnamony, sugary, delicious donut. And on like rainy days or cool nights, this is such such a good scent to burn. Um, for Yankee Candles, I finished Plumberry Crepe Cone. You guys, this is sweet plum pastry. This is sweet plum pastry in a candle. And I could not be happier. Sweet plum pastry is a scent from Scentsy that I absolutely adore. But Plumberry Crepe Cone is a dupe for it. it. Smells just like it. It burned all the way down. Not my favorite burning candle. Um, it definitely did soot a lot. But the throw was actually really great for Yankee Candle. I did this all the time in this candle room. And I didn't even have any wax going in here. And I was like, do I have Sweet Plum Pastry going? It literally is Sweet Plum Pastry when you burn it. And I love it. It's that creamy, sweet, delicious plum. The... The creamy little, like the crepe leans that pastry. Oh, it's so good. And if you love that sweet plum pastry, delicious decadence, try Plumberry Crepe Cone from Yankee. This is the three wick. I believe these are still in their clearance section for like $13.25. So highly, highly recommend that one. And then from Kringle Candle, I finished a Halloween candle. I know, I actually started lighting this when I moved into this apartment because I had it burning in my old apartment and it drove me crazy that I didn't finish it. But now sometimes this happens with Kringle. 
the like seal comes out. But this is one of the soy candles. You, you literally, it literally looks like a black hole. You can't see in here, but this burned so well. The scent was so interesting. It's a very, very hay like leather scent. You definitely pick up on like the leather, the masculine, the outdoorsiness, but wow, this really, really, you capture all of it, especially the hay from a scarecrow. Really crazy. I can sit and picture myself outside. I don't know why, but this feels like the Jeepers Creepers movie. Well, maybe because this literally looks like Jeepers Creepers. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed this candle. Really strong throw. I'm glad I have another one and I cannot wait for Kringle's Halloween candles this year. I know they always kill it like they do every year. And look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. This actually literally matches my background. I might swap out that apple cider donut and just leave this for display. All right, on to Bath & Body Works candles. I finished four. The first one I did was Fresh Cut Lilacs, and I actually was melting some lilac scents, which you'll see here in a little bit when I was burning this. I love this. This is such a great green, wet lilac. Like, you walked outside onto a lilac bush and smelled this candle. It's so pretty. I got every drop out of it. It burned great. It smells great. Strong throw. Never can go wrong with fresh cut lilacs. I buy one every year. Total, total flop, disappointment, banana nut bread. No, banana butt cake. They have so many different banana scents. It was okay. It smelled great on cold. It truly does smell like a true banana cake. It's sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. Nothing. I did that in this room, and this room is not huge, you guys. It's a little office, and this banana bun cake, total fail. No throw at all, and the flames got super, super small, super puny, and this was before I had a candle crock, or else this would have gone right in the candle crock. Oh, actually I actually have five candles from Bath & Body. I forgot. I finished the glass-lidded pink Prosecco frosting candle. I enjoy this. It was nice. Definitely not worth $30 retail. Pink sugar buttercream, fresh blackberries, and chilled Prosecco. Yeah, it just smelled like a very, very blackberry buttercream type of scent that was like sparkling. Really enjoyed it. The flames were super high about till the halfway mark, and then they were super small, and I think I literally just let it burn until it was gone. No joke. I mean, I was home off of work, and I just let it burn for day, the whole entire day, all night. Don't recommend that, but the flames were literally so minuscule, it wasn't even a big deal. Deep Blue Sea, the surprise sleeper hit. I was actually over a friend's house for 4th of July, and she had this one burning in her, like, on her island in her kitchen, and I was like, I have a deep blue sea at home. I haven't burned it. Is that really what that smells like? She goes, yeah, it's amazing. So, pulled it out of my collection. It's funny, it like gives me blueberry pie vibes because of the packaging, but it's um, basket weave. And it's blue citrus waves, crisp island woods, and fresh cypress. It was super, super smoky and sooty towards the bottom, but it smelled great. It really smells like a men's bar of soap. Pretty simple, like a very clean men's bar of soap. I really do enjoy the scent, would totally repurchase it, and besides the sooting, it burned pretty pretty well. And then last for candles, I finished Blue Raspberry Snow Cone. I burned this in my house during the weekend of 4th of July. No throw. Uh, blue Raspberry Syrup, Hint of Cherry, and a Scoop of Shaved Ice. <laughs> shaved Ice, okay. So, water, love. Um... It really did smell good. I remember this came out last year in this, like, tie-dye collection with, there was another, like, the 4th of July, like, the fi oh, firecracker pop. Well, oh, I did not like that. That is way too cherry for me, way too cherry forward. But the blue raspberry snow cone was really good because it was the blue raspberry forward. There was a little bit of cherry, but the blue raspberry came out more, and I much prefer this. Really liked it. Wish it performed better, but... This is a scent that I can easily duplicate in vendor wax, like the blue raspberry oil. So, enjoy it. I loved the packaging. I think it was super, super cute. But yeah. So, those are the candles that I finished. Overall, like, candles anymore are like a hit and miss for me. So, just really trying to 
burn the candles and get them out of my collection. I just separated like all my Scentsy versus like which bars, collections, etc. So let's get started. Let's start on a really, 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 really high note. I finished two bars of Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. You guys, this was incredible. Now I will say, I, I'll do a video again. I got this really cool console table from Wayfair. I posted on my Instagram yesterday and I have like all my succulent warmers and like my life's a lemon warmer and some candles and it looks so, so cute and really just green and fresh without being real plants because I cannot take care of real plants. And I was like, what am I going to put throughout all the warmers on that table and my new living room all set up. And I went with Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. Is this still available? I, I don't know, but if it is, it's going in my club. I, I loved this. I put this in yesterday morning. It's the next day morning, 24 seven, have not turned my warmers off. This still smells so strong like I did originally. And I love this scent. So good. I did two cubes in each warmer. I have eight warmers on that table. I know that's excessive, but let me tell you, this smells so good, so aquatic. There's like a little bit of a sweet greenness in here that I just love, and I love the performance of this. This was a scent of the month a while ago. Really recommend this. Really, really love that. Really, really impressed with that one. Next, I did two bars of Pink Sugarberry Mint. I'm trying to, so the other day I sat down and I really reorganized my Scentsy collection. I put my newer bars at the bottom of the drawer, my older bars up at the top, and then the ones that were like sweaty and looking gross were at the tippy top. So that way I could use them out, put them through my collection, so that way I'm not wasting money and letting the bars sit. And Pink Sugarberry Mint, these are the ones that do not have like the new imprints on the back, on the bottom. And I have some newer bars because I do love Pink Sugarberry Mint. And I finished two bars of this. This is so good. I don't get any mint. I just get a very sweet pink cotton candy fragrance. I love this. We'll always repurchase it. Um, this one I think is going to go in my club too. Unless it's returning for the Fall and Winter catalog. I haven't really studied the fall and winter catalog. Speaking of, my catalogs should be here next week. So if you're interested in getting a collection catalog from me, because I am an independent Sensi consultant, let me know down below and shoot me a message or I'll put my work email down below. It's my Gmail. And if you want a catalog, send me an email with your name and your address and what, what sense you like and what you're looking forward to in the new catalog and I'll send you off a catalog when they come in the mail. But anyway, Pink Sugarberry Mint, really, really love that one. And then I also did two bars of Do We or Don't We. This is one that they were getting a little sweaty and I've been hanging on to them for a while and I'm like, what am I gonna hang on to these for? Like, I need to use them. I love this. This is a great cantaloupe scent. I saw in the Bring Back My Bar voting, which is now closed, that fresh cut cantaloupe was available. It makes me so sad because I don't think it was in the top 25, but I don't know about that system. Seems a little like whatever you vote for is not really true in the end because there's been some weird scents and I don't know. I'll get into that in this bar we'll talk about. But yeah, so I like this. It's a great fresh cut cantaloupe fragrance with a little bit of green in there to make it smell even more authentic and true. Finish two bars. Great performance. Really like those. Both of these were womp womps, were fails, did not perform, and I think it's just because they're really old. And this is Sugar and Pink Haze. Both sweet, pink, girly fragrances. Pink Haze almost gives me a little bit powdery vibes with the Pink and Girly, while Sugar is like straight up Aqualina Pink Sugar. And I really enjoy both of these, but the performance was just not there. I did these in my bedroom, and one after another, and I did not get the performance, sadly, on those. Um, 
For license bars, this bar was literally so oily and gross. I'm like, ugh, let me just throw it in and get rid of it. And this was the Star Wars Light Side of the Force. This is like minty, fresh, a little bit of like sweetness, like an odd sweetness. I did not care for this. Um, it didn't really perform well either. It was pretty old. So sad about that, but that's life. And you just move on to the next one. Now... I have, look at all of these bars. These are from the Life's A Garden collection, which came out, I want to say, two years ago now. And I don't know why I saved them. They're not in my club, but I never got to melting them. So I decided one week in this room, every day, or if it lasted two days, two days, I was going to go through the Life's A Garden. First up, I have Chamomile Daisy. Not really memorable it's a very, very white floral with, like, literally picking a daisy out of the ground and smelling, like, the dirt at the bottom of it. But none of these performed. So I was pretty disappointed. I think they just sat too long in my stash. Strawberry Basil. This is one that I was really, really excited about whenever I heard about it. And it came out. I like it because it was a very fresh, juicy strawberry. And I think that that, like, light pepperiness that comes from natural basil brought out the juiciness in the strawberry. I really like it. I have a bar of coastal strawberry that a friend gave me, but if I'm being honest, I think strawberry basil smells more authentic to strawberry than that strawberry, coastal strawberry does. But I really like this basil strawberry. Didn't perform the best, but I think it's just because it was old. If it ever came back in to bring back my bar, totally would get that one. Pineapple Mint. This is another one that I was like, this is very interesting. It's very herbal. Mmm. Wow. Well, I'm glad this didn't perform for me because let me tell you, as I'm smelling it now, I kind of get like a smoke weed type of smell <laughs> mixed with the pineapple juice. So, mmm. I don't know why I got that all of a sudden. That's weird. Next, Lavender Violet. This was okay. It's kind of like jammy time, fluffy blanket, or fuzzy blanket, um, cozy cashmere, cashmere corduroy, snuggle up, all those type of vibes. Kind of reminded me of like a bedtime, like bubble bath type of scent. I enjoyed it, but it didn't perform the best. And then apple parsley. Also, yeah, um, it was more of a Granny Smith apple, like a tart sour apple mixed with a green parsley. I enjoyed it, but it also, again, did not perform. And I just think it's because the bars are just a little too old and they've just been sitting a while. So it's fine. I'll get, you know, out with the old, in with the new. First one, <laughs> Cloudberry Dreams. Goodbye, good riddance, no. I, at first, when I first smelled this, when it first came out a couple years ago, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Mm-mm, no. The more that this sits, wow. This bar was pretty old. I know that people can, like, see the pour dates or something on here. I never can figure out how to read them, but, wow. I don't know if it's just because this bar was old or what, but it is so sour so strong. I typically like rose scents, so I was really excited about this one, but it's like the tartest berry scent I've ever smelled. Like, so tart and sour that it kind of, like, feels like you need to brush your teeth. It's, like, so, ugh, like, sour mixed with, like, a powdery rose. So, not a vibe. Speaking of not a vibe, Tangerine Creamsicle. Now this, Tangerine Creamsicle, the top 25, I'm bringing back my bar, orange creamsicle? Really? Seems a little interesting to me. They're basically the same thing. Love the scent. It smells like a true, authentic, dreamsicle fragrance. Creamy, creamy orange or tangerine, but I didn't get even a whiff of this when it was going in all the warmers. It makes me really sad because I really liked the scent, so... No performance there. Lavender Cotton. Love this fragrance. Always have. It's a very... It reminds me a lot of a Lush fragrance. Now, not that Lush has ever had a scent that smells like this, but 
it could because it has that powdery bath bomb scent mixed with the lavender. I really enjoy this a lot. I liked this when it was out in the laundry. It really stuck on like the clothes and the blanket, so I really did enjoy this one. But other than that, yeah, it's definitely like a good bedroom bathroom scent. I couldn't imagine like my whole house smelling like it. This was Love Story, this bar. Look at this, guys. So oily. And this is like dark chocolate and amber. This was a Bring Back My Bar a while ago, but I remember when this originally came out years and years and years and years ago when I was a baby buying Scentsy. And I enjoy it. It definitely leans like Victoria's Secret chocolate perfume vibes. I did this in my bedroom. It was pretty decent. Like I would say like a 6 out of 10 performer, but definitely like a dark chocolate vibe. Now in Zen. Really surprising liked this. Really did. This is definitely masculine, like black pepper cologne type of vibe. If you really enjoy Mahogany Teakwood from Bath & Body Works, I think you wouldn't really enjoy Now and Zen. They kind of give me like those same vibes like that teakwoody, fresh, driftwoody scent mixed with like a sea salt. Really liked it. Vanilla Waves. You guys, I was impressed with this one. Okay. On cold, it smells like a pound cake, like a vanilla pound cake. When you warm it, it turns into the most beautiful, creamy, decadent vanilla. Like, you're making a cake. I definitely get like a bakery cake vibe, but with the most rich, authentic, almost like straight vanilla pod cake. I don't know how else to describe it, but it was really weird. In the warmers, it like, I swear I saw like vanilla pod, like there was like dots in the wax. It was interesting. I've never seen that before in Scentsy Wax, but I really liked this. I know I, this is being discontinued, so I might add one bar of it to my club because sometimes when I melt it, I'm like, wow, I was really surprised whenever I walked into my room. Jammy time. You guys... If you're one of my customers, or if you're a new Scentsy customer, jammy time. Super popular. Everybody loves it. I thought Scentsy's discontinuing this. This is true nighttime bubble bath. Like, lavender, calming, so just sweet, scented bubble bath. I love this. Really enjoy the way that it smells on cold. Really enjoy the way that it smells on warm. Last all day or all night because I use this as a nighttime scent, but they are getting rid of it. Make sure you add it to your club. If you're unfamiliar, Scentsy Club is basically the best thing about Scentsy. It's always get my bar. So if scent gets discontinued, it's in your club. You can continue to get it all the time. And the club is one month every other month or every three months or quarterly. So really like that. That may go in my club. I might just stock up, not sure. Sand swept. Mm -mm. This was like, Lexi from Two Quick Wicks, she hates Salty Seagare. She says she like gets nauseated and sick when she smells that blend from vendors, Salty Seagare, that oil. This is how I picture, because I love Salty Sea Air. This is how I picture she, what she smells of Salty Sea Air. Now, the salt mixed with the water, it kind of like makes my throat fill up. I don't know. Mm -mm. No, that is not a vibe. And then last but not least, Jet Set Go. This should be called, put, put it in, take it out. Jet Set Go. I open the bar, took the pieces out, put it in, it melted, and I took it out because I couldn't smell a thing. Such a light performer. Nothing. Zip. Zilch. Zippo. Nothing. So, typically my Scentsy performs a lot better than this. I'm just trying to work through a lot of my older bars and as well as, you'll see in here, a lot of my older wax. So let me clear this table and we will move on to Fender Wax. All right, diving into my bin, I have from Rose Girls shaving cream and fresh picked strawberries. So I really wanted to use these guys up because I had a lot of wax and these were November and September of last year and I know that Rose Girls doesn't hold her shelf life. So I was like, let me give this a shot. I did one cube and one cube in like all the warmers. 
I might have gotten the tiniest bit of throw, but definitely not a powerhouse at all. So, not a fan. Really did like that scent, though. Um, I love shaving cream scents, though. All right, a whole mess of Sassy Girl Aroma Brittles. The first one we have is Vacationing in Maui, and this is Starfruit, Sweet Mango, and Tropical Hibiscus. I don't really know why I ordered this. This is totally not my style of scent, like sweet tropical fruit, but it was nice. It was definitely like a sweet mango, like dragon fruit, star fruit, like exotic fruit blend, but I don't, I'm not really sure why I ordered that because definitely it's not in my wheelhouse of scents like fruity like that. Lilacs in a vase. A vibrant and floral blend of fresh cut lilacs combined with refreshing morning dew in the cool spring morning air. Love, love, love this. This is the best lilac fragrance I've ever smelled. The performance is great. This truly smells like the stems, the green, the water, the outside air with the lilac. It's the best. Lilacs in a vase from Sassy Girl Aroma. I have a good bit of those brittles and will have more because I love it. Next, cherries on top. I decided to try this. This was like, I think, one of my first orders with her. And it is zucchini, birthday cake, cherry crumb pie, and pistachio. You guys, this was so good and so yummy. Cherries on top. I was beyond impressed. Her cherry was really nice because it smelled more like a baked cherry pie and blended with the zucchini and the pistachio. It kind of mellowed it out to a really great scent. It lasted the entire day in my warmers. Really liked the way that it lingered in the air too. Really liked it. Definitely a cherry that I can stand by. I have a very small amount of cherries that I can handle. That is one of them. Next, Ghost World. I want to say I had this one before. It's Mac Apple Driftwood Toasted Mallow, Sea Salt Breeze, and S'mores. So, Beach Nights and Mac Apple. She has the best Beach Nights. Love her Beach Nights. Truly, like, you're on the beach with S'mores. It's so nice. Added with the Mac Apple. Blew you out of the water. This was so good. It lasted all day. Highly recommend. Love her Mac Apple. Love her Beach Nights. And then, I don't want to say that's my last one because I feel like, no, there's definitely more. I'm, like, trying to pick them all, 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 all out. All right, next, cucumbers and cantaloupe. This one is sweet, juicy cantaloupe and fresh cucumber. And it's just that. Really like it. Really like the performance. This is just a nice, sweet scent. I think this would be a good scent for company coming over because it just made the house smell like sweet and clean and fresh without being like laundry. So really like that, really like that sweetness. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I know that Alexis here on YouTube really wanted me to try this one. This is toffee, tiny chocolate, fruity buttercream, and creamy fluffy vanilla cake. I popped this in my warmers. I went and got like takeout or went to dinner. I don't remember exactly. I was out for just a short amount of time. And I came home and I'm like, mm, it smells good in here. But I wasn't like blown out of the water. So, I mean, I have, I think, two loaves. I think I have like five brittles. I went crazy because of the hype on Cupcakes at Tiffany's, especially Sassy Girl Aromas. But yeah, it was just like a very, like, yeah, just like a very creamy bakery scent. So I enjoyed it. I don't think I would run out to repurchase it, but I'll use my collection. It was nice, but it was not a standout. And then I did Shake Your Boom Boom, and this is her Boom Boom Cream, and this is Salted Caramel, Pistachio, Jasmine, and Vanilla. Smell just like Boom Boom. I did it in this room. Um, boom Boom in this room. I love it. Uh, this is really good. Like I said, the pistachio was creamy. It's, it's really nice. I would not say that her pistachio... Sorry, I'm going to... Talk and look. I would not say that her pistachio is all that, um, like Boom Boom pistachio is not like a lot of vendor wax pistachio because it just was really, it's just really creamy. I really like, I really like the Boom Boom 
pistachio. I did No Doze Cafe. This is one of my favorite coffees from Julie. This is Coffee House Whipped Cream Marshmallow and Caramel. This just smelled like a really decadent, creamy caramel coffee, and it performed really well. I love the colors. It was like this royal blue and uh, brown. Really liked it. I did Fantasyland, and Fantasyland is lemon rind, shortbread, fruit loop, orange sherbet, and vanilla bean noel. When this performed, I really got, like, what, when it performed? When it was in the warmer, it really performed, and I really got this, like, really, like, sour sweet fruit cereal. So, really liked it. Uh, I don't know if I would repurchase it, but it was enjoyable. This one, though, this is a mini muffin from her, Southside Serpent. I got this in December. This was a hint of smooth leather, tobacco, sweetened marshmallow, and sweet bakery. I didn't get anything from this. This I've tried a couple times. Bedroom, this room. I, I could not get any throw from it, which was really sad because I really do enjoy the blend. But sadly, I just did not get any performance from that one. Um, I might try it in a brutal because I honestly have not had the best luck with her mini muffin performance wise, which I'm not sure why it's literally the same wax. So not sure. And then as far as like brittles go, I also finished from Harper James, Summer Squeeze. I did this on 4th of July weekend. It's tart cherry, lemonade, and sweet strawberry. I really like this one, you guys. Again, a cherry that I really like, and I think it's because you had such a strong lemonade and such a sweet strawberry. I did the entire brittle, Two cubes in each warmer throughout my living room, dining room, kitchen area. It lasted almost the whole day. I would have liked a little bit of a longer performance, but it was like fresh. I just got it and I did like it. It was like I said, a really nice cherry lemonade. I'm excited to see what Harper James comes out with for the fall. I was digging through my basket to find uh, my Rose Girls and I actually found two more from Sassy Girl Aroma. I did another muffin in London, pink peony whipped cream and pink chiffon. Again, I didn't get much. I got this November 6th. I didn't get much from it. Pink chiffon isn't my favorite scent, so again, not really sure why I ordered something like this. Maybe because of the peony, but it's just like a sweet pink girly scent, but not a super strong throw. Two scoops. This is the summer scoop type from Bath and Body Works, I, or from Yankee Candle. Love this. This is such a great creamy strawberry ice cream fragrance. And it is spun sugar tonalities of pink cotton candy, juicy strawberries, sweet berries, and plump red, re, ripe red globe grapes. Ripe red globe grapes. Lots of bugs in there. Really like that creamy, creamy strawberry ice cream. All right, now let's whiz through the Rose Girls. I did Strawberry Blueberry Rice Krispie Treats. This was from that joke of a Halloween sampler. Um, strawberry Blueberry Rice Krispie Treats screams Halloween. Still bitter about that one. Um, yeah, I didn't love this. Didn't really get performance from it. It was two chunks. Um, Vermont Honey Apple and Royal Sugar Cookies. Jumping on Cranberry Clouds. Birdo's Magical Cupcake Land, Raspberry Sauce, Watermelon Zen, Grave Digger, Captain Crunch Berries, and I'm just going through these because I didn't really get any performance from anything from her. Fluff, uh, Stolen Hoodie, which is Fluffy Towels and Cologne, also Halloween. Baked Zucchini Bread, Banana Bread Carbs, I do really like this scent from her. It's banana cream pie, baked zucchini bread cookies, and donuts. Lilac, I did this one whenever I did her, um, whenever I was wearing the Bath and Body Works scent. Peaches and cream, strawberry jam, and honeydew. So, cleared out a good bit of the Rose Girls, de-stashed a good bit of the Rose Girls. Listen, it just doesn't perform for me in my house. This is going to be such a long video. Oh my gosh. All right, I did a whole loaf of pumpkin pecan waffles from Destination Wax. Love pumpkin pecan waffles, lightly sweetened with brown sugar and maple syrup. Always a good one, always a classic. And Destination Wax does a really good one. I did, I'm trying to get 
the mixes together. Here we go. I did breakaway bars in here in grass stain and dirt. I did a cube and a cube in each warmer. Grass stain is a single scent note of fresh green grass. And then dirt is damp, freshly turned garden dirt. Really cool combo, really good for spring. It was a really nice day. I opened my windows, it was a little cooler, I turned off the air, had this going in here, and it just like freshened the air as crazy as like grass stain and dirt can make your house smell fresh. It really does though. Really, really enjoyed that one. I did, this is a kind of interesting combo. I did fresh lettuce and watermelon mint, and I actually did a sample of watermelon mint and a breakaway bar, and then another breakaway bar and fresh lettuce. So fresh lettuce is crisp, watery, fresh green scent, and watermelon mint, fresh watermelon and cooling mint. Really enjoyed both of these, really nice together. The watermelon mint, and the mint is more of a fresh picked from the garden mint, mixed with like a creamy sweet strawberry or watermelon, and then the fresh lettuce kind of brought out the greenness of the watermelon. Really, really liked that one. I did this cool combo in my living room. I did pretzel blueberry and blueberry basket. So blueberry basket is a basket full of ripe blueberries, grapes, and plums. This is a rich, sweet berry scent. And then pretzel blueberry is pretzel and blueberry basket. So I basically just amped up on the blueberry with the pretzel, really nice, really reminded me of a blueberry muffin more than a pretzel in the warmer, but I really enjoyed Destination Wax and really enjoyed that combo. I did pink peppermint in my bedroom a couple nights this week. This is pink sugar blender, peppermint, and vanilla. And it was, I really like her pink sugar. It's just a very sweet pink sugar. Next, I did plum tart. Now, plum tart is warm baked tart with a jammy rich filling of plum, orange, cinnamon, and vanilla. Really, really sweet. Really good, decadent plum, like a dark plum. And then the last one from Destination is yellow pear, and this is fresh, lightly sweet yellow pear. Just a sample I did it in my bathroom. I didn't really get much from it. Samples are hard for me to really get a real strong note out of, but um, I enjoyed it. Salt Mountain Melts. So two of these I got as a random act of kindness, and one I have Oh, actually, these were all random act of kindnesses. I just did them separately. Um, and I did these because, these two, because of the pre-order that was this last week. And I reordered both of these because I loved it. And then this one. So this is Nanner Cakes. This is vanilla cupcake, banana, brown sugar, caramel, and cinnamon sugar. This is a souffle. I cut her souffles into six pieces, six warmers. Literally lasts the entire day really happy with Salt Mountain Melts and her performance. Skipped out on the last couple pre-orders, but she had Heat Wave in this last pre-order, and Lexi's been raving about it, and I asked her to pour it, and it won in the voting polls, so really excited to get that. And then these were random act of kindnesses from a very dear friend of mine, and why I was so excited about these is these were both offered in this last pre-order, and this one was poured August 3rd of last year, and this was September 1st of last year. Both souffles cut each one into six pieces. I was able to see performance and lasting power because these are right around the year mark, about 10, 11 months, and these both performed so well for me, I was just like, you know what, I'm going in and I'm getting them in loaves. I got a lot of loads. Wait till you see that salt mountain order. Evil Queen, Cider Lane Whipped Cream and Sugar Cookies. I'll be perfectly honest with you, both of these scents are not standouts to Salt Mountain Melts, personally. This is just a very creamy bakery Cider Lane. But Cider Lane overtook it. I love Cider Lane, though, and was happy with the performance, the lasting power, and clearly this has good shelf life because it's about a year old. So really happy with that, and her wax pops right out of the warmers in the freezer, so I love that. And then Hungry Ghost. Pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. So again, just a very creamy pumpkin pecan waffles. I ordered a loaf of it because I love the performance and the lasting power. Evil Queen, 
Again, Cider Lane blender. This one, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles blender. Both of these I have candles with, so when I melt them, I will burn the candles with. But very, very, very impressed with Salt Mountain Melts. The only thing is I wish after a pre-order she did an RTS with leftovers, but I know she pours exactly what she has ordered. But it would be nice if you found something you loved and like, oh, I want to order more. You can't. I know that Sugar Mama that was offered is like strawberry pound cake and her like sweet and salty totally up my alley. So really excited I got two loaves of that. This, it was a huge order. All right, next we'll do like my miscellaneous vendors. All right, moving on to miscellaneous vendors. I finished a souffle of Beach Treats from Teddy Bee's, and Beach Treats is her version of Beach Nights. So vanilla marshmallow, whipped cream, and white magnolia, dark chocolate orchid, and driftwood. So pretty. This is a souffle poured on September 22nd, so almost a year. I love her Beach Nights. It, her, and Sassy Girl Aroma have the best beach nights, in my opinion. It's just so creamy, a little bit sweet, beachy. It is beautiful. I did a souffle of Teddy Bees in six warmers. I find that six pieces of Teddy Bees is ideal. I know some people do a lot less, some do more. It just all depends. I did Raspberry Jam Bakery from Vintage Chic Scents. This was in a rose. And this is buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, raspberry jam, a hint of sugar almonds, just like you walked into the bakery. This and Collectible Lunchbox are probably my favorite raspberry jams from her. Her raspberry jam is unlike any other. It's so rich, sweet, true like raspberry jam with the seeds. I love that. Southbound, I did a little, I don't even remember, did I film my Southbound haul? I might have, um, uh, Souffle and her pre-order that was open, Pumpkin Cream Puffs. I'm probably not going to film it because I only bought, only, I bought five loaves of Pumpkin Cream Puffs. That scent, I haven't had from her since she was Southbound Soap Company. Long time. It was a six pack of pumpkins in like a fold over polypropylene bag, not a zip love like absolutely 10 out of 10 love that scent it's the truest most authentic pumpkin cream puff it was mainly a cream puff scent with like a little bit of a creaminess but like from the pumpkin but no pumpkin cream puff was it for me but anyway bread and jam this was really good too it was crisp fresh baked baguette with sweet strawberry blackberry and raspberry jams all blended together and yes it smells just like the bread and jam Oh, rip the bag. Oh, so good. I love that good fresh baked bread scent. It just makes your house smell so cozy. I did a two pack of buns from L3 and Palo Santo. I barely got anything from this and this was from June of last year. I did oh, from Melted Moose. Speaking of winners, this is called Bread Winner. This scent, you guys, fresh baked bread and strawberry jam but the blend of the strawberry jam, it was like the strawberry jam was baked into the bread. <sighs> this is so good. It's not like a fresh sweet jam on top of the bread. It's literally like one of those breads where the jam is baked in. And when I did this one little sample in a tea light in my bedroom, uh, it was the best smelling room at the time. Birdie's Making Sense. This was a sample that a friend sent me, and it is frosted animal cookies, pink frosted cake, sugar cookie dough, and a hint of raspberry zinger. I didn't get anything from this. I don't know why. Didn't get anything from it. I used it in my tea light. Couldn't smell a thing. What I have going in here, banana pudding from Zate. Love. Talked about it before. It's like a really nice creamy, creamy banana. I did the whole pie slice. I cut it into six pieces, and it is in this warmer. Teardrops on my guitar from VCS. This is blue sugar, zucchini bread, and warm vanilla sugar. Again, a scent that I absolutely love from all the vendors. This is no exception except Kirby's zucchini bread. It is my favorite zucchini bread from any vendor. It's so creamy mixed with the spice. So you have that element with the warm vanilla sugar and that pink blue sugar combination. Fabulous. Teardrops on my guitar. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I have two clams from Super Darts. Sage Blackberry Palo Santo. I couldn't smell this at 
all. Like, right here, it smells great. I smell the sage, I smell the blackberry, the Palo Santo slowly in the background, but I could not smell anything from this on warm. So, super disappointing on that. And then Minerva, super, super old clam of Minerva. And this, I believe, it doesn't say on it, but isn't it pink sugar laundry? I really like this, and I could smell this. I mean, the clams literally squish, but yeah, so is this one. But I could smell the Minerva in tea lights, sage, blackberry, palo, nothing. I just feel like it didn't cure long enough. All right, I have one, two, three, four set shots from Super Tarts, blown up, great white, Sharknado, and Brody's Bounty. These are all Jaws blends I got from a Jaws sampler. They all performed really well. I chopped them in half. Brody's Bounty is the only one I honestly remember what it is. It's Jaws and Blackberry. I'm doing this in my bedroom now. So good. I feel like all the Jaws blends are really good though, and it's kind of hard to detect unless you know from reading the scent description what's in it, what else is in it. But Jaws is like what? Plum, pear, and like salty sea air. Whatever it is, is fabulous. I love the Jaws blend. Can never get enough of Jaws. I did from Candles from the Keeping Room, a little strawberry sample in a strawberry pound cake type. Did this in a tea light. It was her strawberry shape. Lasted the entire day in my bedroom. Smelled so good, just like the Bath and Body Works one. I have Espresso Jackio from VCS. So good. Creamy, creamy coffee. It's vanilla bean cake topped with espresso beans and whipped marshmallow. I love this coffee set. And I believe it was Jenny Gilmore. I think it's one of her admins on the Facebook group. She posted that she mixed this with Satisfied. And I have some of this. So that's going to definitely get mixed together. I did Applesauce Spice Cake from Candles by Victoria. I like this. It was, a it was insane that you can truly smell the apple spice applesauce like you get applesauce really cool really like that and then I did three scoops so I did now this is super interesting so I want to talk a little bit of experimentation with you guys so this scoop normally you see all the residue in there scooped it with one of her spoons and then I popped a scoop in the freezer I rolled the jar with my hands, the entire thing popped out, I sliced it, put it in my warmers, and everything came out. Now, granted, I couldn't smell anything from this one, but this was cookie therapy craze. This was the pride, um, this was the pride scoop, and I'm very proud of myself, I've said that before, and um, pride month is really important to a lot of people, it's important to me too, and you know, if you get on YouTube and say you're against pride and against the LGBTQ community, but you love everyone, really just doesn't line up. You, you can't love everyone, but not lo like be against LGBT and their agenda. I'm not an agenda, never have been, never will be. An agenda is a list of to-dos and being gay is not a to-do. I just have to say that. Being gay is not a to-do list. It's not, I'm gonna wake up, be gay. It doesn't work like that. So, I'm proud to use up this scoop. Proud to be gay. Proud to be LGBT. And I'm glad that I closed that chapter of my life. Um, next, butcher knife. Graham crackers, pumpkin, toasted marshmallow, and leaves. I really enjoyed this. I did this in my bedroom, also sliced. Really got good performance, but doesn't last long. L3 scoops. And then I was so happy to get rid of this. Fresh picked strawberries, lemonade, and beach sage and mint. This, the beach sage and mint, did they bring that candle back this year? Now that I'm sitting here, I don't remember that back. Maybe they did, I don't remember it, but I like beach sage and mint, but blended with the fresh picked strawberries and the lemonade, it was almost like too much, too citrusy. All right, last but not least, Dessa's Homespun Scents. You guys, you guys. I've only melted four things, but let me tell you, Dessa's. She's opening on the 23rd. It's a pre-order. Please order and support Dessa. That's all I can say. This wax, 
Okay. Huckleberry Lane. Nana's homemade fresh huckleberry preserves. It was like the it was her breakaway bars, and they look like the L3 bougie bars. I did one of each cube in here. So I have six warmers in here. I had one left over. So I took one in a tea light in my bathroom. Two and a half days. Two and a half days, 24 seven. It was crazy. I have a little like electrical switch issue and um, I had my dad come over to look at it and he goes, smells so good in here. That was the end of the second day. Crazy performance. And I also learned, even though her wax is super soft, it's 100% paraffin. So you have to melt her wax to get the performance from it. And it performs. She came, she slayed, and she's here to stay. And my wallet is going to be during this next pre-order because I'm custom some I'm customizing some sense. I'm doing Huckleberry Lane and Marshmallow Fireside together. That I saw someone do last time. Sounds incredible. Her wax is super affordable. And even though it's 100 percent paraffin, it's soft. I think that's amazing. Easy to cut like butter, comes out of the warmers great. And when you melt paraffin, the scent just comes out. Alright? Smoky Mountain Berries. Love Dessa don't love this scent. It just reminded me of a craft store. It was one little, little, that she calls them baby cakes. It was a sample. I did it in a tea light in my bedroom. It was strong. It lasted a long time. I just don't care for the scent because it reminds me of like a Michael's craft store and that is not my vibe. I, I don't enjoy scents like that. But you win some and you lose some and I like that I know what I like and I know like I don't care for this. So there's that. Next, Sugared zucchini streusel. You guys, I need a loaf. I need a loaf of this scent. It was incredible. And here's the thing about sugared zucchini streusel. I didn't love it on cold. You can watch my video. I'll be the first to admit it. I popped it in my warmer. I went, I took a shower, and I came into my bedroom. It, okay, I don't think it smells super strong on zucchini bread. What I think it smells like is more of a spice cake. But you walk into a bake shop, and you know like the toaster strudel icing, like that like light like sugar and confectioner sugar glaze, but homemade. And they're whipping it in this big silver bowl in the front, and you open the door to the bakery, and they're icing this spiced cake. But it wasn't like cinnamon spice. It was like warm spice. It was so good. It was so strong. When the tea light blew out, I was like, I'm lighting another tea light and I'm getting more out of this because that's all I have. It was incredible. I'm ordering a loaf on its own. It was fabulous. I, I can't be, I cannot believe it. Sugared zucchini streusel and it's being offered in the next pre-order. Get your hands on it. I promise you and melt it. Amazing. And then last but not least, La Patisserie. And this one was also really good. I'm not going to repurchase it. It was just okay. The performance was great. It just smelled like you walked into a bakery. Like that sweet, sugary, <sighs> bakery type of scent. But I don't love this from many vendors. So even though it was good, I just wouldn't repurchase it. But performance-wise, it was also great. But literally, out of this whole entire basket... Sugared zucchini streusel from Dessa's, literally. If you're going to order one thing, order it. And if you get it and you don't like it, guess what? Send it to me. I'll pay you for it. It was so good. I love it. I, I hope a loaf is enough because it was fabulous. Anyway, that was my video, my trash talk, a little bit of some snarkiness, a little bit of fun, but that's who I am. And it's my channel, so I can do whatever I want. So, and... Can we just say thank you so much? I hit 10,500 subscribers. 10,500 subscribers. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much. And when I hit 11,000 subscribers, which hopefully will be soon, I have a major giveaway that I think you'll all really enjoy. 11,000 subscriber giveaway is coming up soon, for sure. And also... Charity hit a thousand subscribers, so so excited. Congratulations, Charity. You deserve it, and it's only up from here. And love that. So amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, 
That way you're alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. I'll talk to you guys later. Make it a better world. Be kind. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.